Hey guys, today we're going to draw this really awesome eagle mascot. Now a few things before we get started. I want you to try holding your pencil towards the middle and much more importantly, I want you to hold on to your pencil really loosely and that way we can erase our guidelines. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, let's draw this really awesome eagle. Now just a reminder, so try holding your pencil more towards the center and much more importantly, hold on to your pencil really loosely. Okay, now, so we're gonna focus on shapes like we always do and we can see the largest shape would be um, a circle or maybe a little bit more of an oval here for the most of its head. Except we're gonna go ahead and start here since this part actually overlaps that part. So we can see the angle that that's um, positioned as. So we want to try to mimic that angle. And what we're going to do is we're going to combine this with that. So it's got a triangle part and I'm transitioning to address the front portion of the beak, which is going to be a triangle. And I'm going to go upward and then downward just a little bit. And then I'm just going to take that straight onto the back part there. See, that looks like an upside down canoe. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and address this part. So we can see how, see the edge of this, the just call it his chin, see how close that is to the edge of his beak, the front edge of his beak. So we can kind of get a sense of where we need to start that. And it is basically like half an oval. And we can see uh, the distance between here and here. And we want to kind of get close to that. It doesn't matter if we are like spot on or not, but kind of a gauge. And I'm going to actually take this a little bit. I'm going to do mine more like this. Okay, good starting point. All right. Now let's go ahead and draw its eyes. And so we can see his eye that's on this side. Um, overlaps into the top portion of of the beak and we can draw the whole thing which is a circle or we can draw that much I think I'll draw that much because we can see that we're gonna um, overlap the rest of it quite a bit with um, his brow so let's go ahead and draw this eye on this side and we can see how that's pretty much aligns with this or close to it now so we're going to draw the U shape that makes up his brow, which overlaps quite a bit into his eyes. So we're going to draw right over the eyes. So see how it looks kind of like a U shape. Now we can get rid of the line. There. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and finish this out here like that. And let's see, let's go ahead and draw its its eye, his eyeballs, which of course are circles. He's got a little bit of a highlight inside. His are actually triangular shaped, but I think I'll leave mine like, or this new one like this. So this eye is going to be much, or a little bit smaller, and two with a highlight to finish it out. Then he's got a little triangular shaped uh, nostril here. And let's go ahead and work on this part here. So I'm going to erase the line about that much of the line. And let's go ahead and angle this line up now like that and draw the line that goes this way. Okay. Now, now he's looking pretty awesome. Okay. Let's go ahead and draw this part, this line here. And now let's draw this little triangle part that's over here. Now we're going to get ready to draw the, the top of the head. And that's just a nice curved line as we get ready to draw really the main portion of its head. So um, let's initially just go like this. Let's not worry about capturing the triangles, the, tr the hairs quite yet. Let's just give ourselves a guide. We'll attach those hairs right to this guide. So let's go ahead and go through the beak to make sure this aligns with that. Okay, we can leave it like that for now. So now we can look 
and see how if we need to make any changes to its beak for example I might make my beak, beak um, slightly longer so you can always make little adjustments if you need to or even major adjustments if you need to there we go I think I like that a little bit better and see it in fact I can even make an adjustment here it looks like I'm gonna hook this down a little bit more you may or may not need to do that to yours Okay. Anyway, so now I'm going to go ahead and attach. So I've got my guide now. So now I'm going to go ahead and attach my triangles to the guide. So see, there's one triangle. Then, of course, we'll get rid of that line. And here's two triangles. And, and of course, you can draw as few or as many as you want. Go on there. And here. And here. And here. So that looks pretty good. So now I can erase the guideline and sort of assess everything and make sure everything looks the way I want it to and make any kind of changes I feel like needs to be made. But that is our really awesome eagle. So if you guys have any questions about today's lesson, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for joining me. Remember to subscribe and please give me a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.